Our mango seed has started. Let me show you what's next. Come on. Alright guys, so just an update on our four month old mango tree. As you see, it's putting on beautiful new leaves here. We have four new leaves coming up and it's starting to sprout up taller. So this tree is really doing well from our first store-bought mango. Now to get into the one we just started. It sprouted. Here's its root. As you can see, this big, long root is starting to wind around. And these roots are very fragile, so you must be careful. But the seed is also starting to green up slowly. So that's a good sign. Also, if you look really closely, you can see the actual leaves and tree. That's what it looks like at first. They're starting to sprout out and up. This is when you know it's time for you to put this in some soil. I'm just using a recycled um, bonnie plant container here with some pre-moistened dirt. I'm simply going to make a hole so that I can stick the seed in like this. Now there's a lot of different methods sticking the seed in like this, like this. I think this is the simplest way and this is how I did with this one. So I'm going to copy that. So I'm just going to dig a hole in here with my fingers. Make it a little messy, but it's whatever. And is that big enough? No, you want to really widen it up. You might need want to use a bigger um, pot. I'm just using a smaller one because this is all I have right now. But let's just keep keep trying to push this dirt out there. And almost, just really make a, there we go. Have this side being down more, leave the root so it can spread down. And then I'm just going to backfill in here. Just filling in our soil around it so that it's nice and wet, but it's nice and supported by the dirt, like so. You could add more dirt here, which I might do later, just to make sure that the seed is in and it's secured, that it's not gonna move around too much. Um, definitely add more dirt, kind of keep it the dirt line here. So that's what you're gonna wanna do now. And you're just gonna keep watering it regularly and wait for this to sprout and it's gonna grow. I'll give you an update in the next couple of weeks to see what happens with this mango. Again, our one from four months ago was growing strong from store-bought and this one is also growing. Just one caveat with mangoes. Again, like the avocado or like a lemon or a coconut, these are tropical plants, which means that they are not gonna be able to survive in winters of the north of America or places that really get below 50, 40 degrees. So if you live in a zone that has cold winters, you're gonna to wanna to bring these indoors. So anything below 40 degrees will kill these trees. So you're gonna to wanna to bring them indoors in the winter time and bring them back out in the summertime. It's a simple process, just leave them in a pot, bring them outside, then once it starts getting too cold, you bring them inside and put them in a sunny window again. These will bear fruit in about seven, really three to seven years. It depends on the plant itself. If you're lucky, you can get three. If you're unlucky, it might take 10. But it is a really cool project to do. And even if you don't want it for the fruit, it does make a really beautiful house tree and produces a ton of oxygen in your house. So I will keep updating you guys with this and I will catch you all in the next episode of How to Grow a Mango Tree from Seed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Keep on growing.